I was shocked by the sight I saw today. A man was sitting holding a goat by the neck, and people were gathering around him. I am the midwife of this village. I have given birth to more than half of the women in the village. They all trust me a lot. But I was very surprised when Morvi Osman came to me. She said, Mom, today you need to go, I need you. I told him, how can you need me? Nothing like this can happen in your house, because your wife is a bond. Morvi said, no, no, I need you, but not for my wife, I need you for my goat bun. I asked her if it was Bano's delivery time. She said, yes, it's time for Bano to give birth. You come soon. I said, okay, I'm coming. I went there. It was not that difficult a task. A baby goat was about to be delivered. Morvi loved his goat very much. He named it Bano. Morvi goat was unconscious. He took great care of the goat. Ati used to take care of him. He used to make different clothes for him during winter. There is also a separate room for him. The program knew that Morvi Osmantara was very fond of goats. It is as if his soul is in the goat. Morvi used to say, ever since I brought this goat, my condition has improved. The goat was also quite beautiful to look at. It was a goat of the type, tall and white in color. I have never seen such a tall goat before. Mulvi used to take good care of him, that's why he was so tall. I also reached there and sat down next to the goat. I knew I didn't have much to do, but the scene I saw after a while was like the ground was removed from under my feet. I was shocked and said, how can it be, Osman, you find out who is behind this. Mulvi Osman himself was shocked. There was no expression on his face, something that he himself never thought would happen. But when he came to know who was behind it, he also lost his footing. It was as if the sky had collapsed on the head. Morvi Osman could not even meet his own eyes now, because this work is not for one person. People say that not only mothers wish for children, but many men also wish to be fathers of children. Morvi Osman was like that. He was born in my arms. His mother was a good person. He is no longer alive. He has a wife at home. He is very calm and homely. He neither goes out nor talks to anyone. And the reason behind this is that he was a slave. She will never be able to give birth to children. He used to come to me often and take medicine because I was the midwife of that village. But I told her, there is no possibility of having children in your house. You should go to the city and have a checkup with the doctors. Urban doctors have come up with many treatments these days if a child is born in your house. But he used to say, you know that we are poor people and Mulvey Osman will never take me to the city and we don't have that much money. This is how the day was going. One day, Mulvi appeared in the village with a small goat, as if it was his own child. He named him Bano. He took care of her all day. He kept the goat as if it were his own child. The goat also grew up with me. Now the goat started giving milk. I was an old woman, so I used to tell her to leave some milk for me. And so he did. But seeing his condition today also twisted my liver. Mulvi was sitting holding his head as if it was happening to his wife or daughter. When I woke up in the morning, Mulvey was knocking on my door and saying that my kid was about to be delivered. I told you your goat is alone, then how can she have children? He said, I don't know that, but auntie, you go with me, I need your help. At first when he shook the door, I thought there was something else going on. But no child could be born in his house because his wife was barren. And she didn't like her husband either. He used to say, my parents forced me to marry here. The girl was good at heart but gradually reduced the coming and going, because it was a village. And here the barrenness of girls is considered a big crime. Morvi took me into a bite. He made it for his uncle. The goat looked very sad. I told him, look, it's not my job, but the village vet left the village, so let me help you a little. With that I sat down and put my hooker aside. Little did I know that today I was going to experience the most amazing event of my life. I will see something that will shock me. I told him you go out and started smoking hookah. But after a while I was startled when I heard the sound of a human baby crying. I said to myself, where is this noise coming from? This voice is not a mistake in my mind. I've given birth to so many women that now I feel like this is happening to me every day. But when I looked around, I was shocked because Bano's condition was still bad. But there was a newborn baby lying next to her and it was crying loudly. When I saw Bano, I noticed that his stomach had shrunk a lot compared to before. Seeing this scene made me dizzy. I wondered how this could be, but the child was lying on the grass. I picked up the baby and mixed it with my sheet. 
When I came out with the baby in my lap, Malvi Sahib's wife and another woman from the village were standing outside. Maybe they came to get milk. But seeing such a scene in front of their eyes, they also stopped. His wife said in surprise, Is it mum? Do you have it in your hand? I said to him, Are you crazy? Can't you see it's a newborn baby? He said, Baby, how can the baby come? You were inside with Bano. Bano's body was bad. I said, How can I explain to you now where the child came from? I myself do not know that. But if it is not handled quickly, it will become sick. Mulvey's wife came forward, took the child in her arms and said, Give me, I'm taking care of her. She was walking very fast and was going home with the baby. When Mulvey Osman saw this scene, he asked, How is Bano now? I said, Bano is fine. But something else is not right. And you can't fix it even if you want to. He said, why, what happened? I said, your cousin has given birth. He said, well, how is the child now? I said, the human child is born Buddha. He was also startled by saying this. He said, how can a human child be mother? I woke you up. That doesn't mean you still talk in your sleep. If you're not sleepy yet, go and sleep. Why are you making fun of me like this? I said, I'm joking. Go in and see what your wife has. He immediately ran inside. I went in after him. I went and saw that his wife had wrapped the baby in a cloth and laid him on the bed. And he told the woman to go to his house and bring milk and feed her, because that woman had a baby in her house a few days ago. He went home and brought milk or feed her. The baby was now being nursed. The child was perfectly healthy. My eyesight is very good. I can tell if there is any illness in the baby. I saw that the baby drank milk and fell asleep peacefully. But now the peace of the people of this house was gone. Mulvey Osman sat down on the ground and began to press his forehead. What happened to it? I can't think of anything. You're not kidding me. I said, how can we make fun of you? You say that. How can this happen? It was your goat. It stayed with you all day. You are the one to take care of him. He said, I never thought that I could have a baby goat. And even if the child is born, a small goat will be born. But what happened? How could she be a human baby? Mulvey's wife was behaving very strangely. She kept the baby close to her chest. He was not saying anything, nor was he listening. Where we are all surprised, he should have been surprised too. But he didn't seem surprised at all. We were wondering how it happened. I couldn't think of anything else. Women who do not have children have a lot of love for children. But every time I asked this woman, she said, My child has no hobbies. I don't mind if there are no kids. But now, she is holding this child in such a way that if she is kept away, she will not be able to take control. I said, Shama, you too say something. Why are you silent? She said, what shall I say? He brought this goat and ran after it all day. I don't know who to suspect. Malvi Osman raised the glass beside him and snorted loudly and said, do you doubt me? He said, no, I don't doubt you. But you tell me how this happened. This is not the law of nature. If someone does that, then there is a severe punishment for him. Malvi said, what should I do with this child now? Before I could say anything, Shama said, Let this child stay with me. Allah did not give us children. Think we got our child. How many times I explained to you, how many quarrels with you. But you never listened to me. Now this kid is at our door. We will raise it if we get it. Men have a lot of patience. But when the situation goes against him, he becomes completely silent. The same happened with Malvi Osman. He was completely silent. He got up and left. This time Shama started crying. She said, don't look, Amma. How many times have I told her? We adopt someone's child. We have been married for ten years. By this time, people's children have grown up. Neither did he take me to the doctor, nor did he take me to town. He never paid attention to me. His meditation knowledge was always on the goat. I said, it is better to adopt someone's child. Nowadays, a child is born like this. Shama said, no, Amma, it doesn't matter. I don't have a sister, Nazir. Allah has mercy on her that together she had three daughters. Again, two boys were together. She was ready to give me one of her children. Her husband works hard, does manual labor. How will she raise five kids? Wanted to give my sister's baby. What would happen if you take it? But you do not have this Mulvey Osman, he said. My sister's children are of a low descent. So I don't want to have a child from a family that has low caste blood. Look how big he used to talk. Maybe that's why God showed him today. He never cared about me. Neither treated me nor prayed for me. I told her not to adopt a child from someone else. Then he told me a thousand words. Then I said, let's go to the city and adopt a child from an orphanage. He still scolded me and got busy with this goat. One day, he told me, this goat is my whole world. If I didn't do it well, 
he would tell me a lot of good things. He used to tell me, I will divorce you, now see what happened. He will become famous in the whole village for this goat, but it won't be for a good reason. Maybe he felt insulted by me. I said to him, Shama, what are you saying? What was your curse? Did you want it to be like this? Shama said, I got what I wanted. I said, what are you saying? Shama said, I'm just saying that I got this baby. It's too much for me. I don't even want to know how this baby came into this world and who is his father. I will bring him up if I have him. Then I came home. Malvi Osman's mother was my very good friend. That's why they used to call me auntie. Sometimes she said Amma and sometimes auntie. Osman came to my house in the evening, was very worried. He said, aunt, there is a bad news. I asked him, what is the bad news? He said, Banner has left this world. I've buried him earlier. I told him I feel very bad for Banner. He then cried and said, my goat has left this world. And this strange thing happened to me. What will happen when this news spreads throughout the village? I don't know what to do now. Do I run away from here? And if I run away, will I take the baby along? I told him, look, there's no fault with the baby here. Your wife has no children. She will take the baby right. His time will be spent. Even half of our lives have passed. You do not have children. So maybe Allah has given a baby like this. He said, no, I can't give up everything like this. I have to find out who is behind it. Who did this to my goat? Because whoever did this, he committed a serious crime. This is the crop of his sin. We did not commit any sin. I said, I think there is a story behind it. This baby may be your wife, but that's not your baby. He said, what is saying Amma? You can't say such a thing. You have to say anything. You have to have evidence. I said, the proof is that he loves this baby very much. She's hugging the baby. He doesn't want to get off. Such love is the mothers who have given birth to children. And the mother's love grows even more when her baby moves into her lap. Didn't you feel strange? That he was not saying anything, was not commenting, not worried, just taking the baby in the chest. Morvi Osman said, I don't know if this is strange. But if she was really pregnant, how did I know? I said, your wife is a very sick woman. And you went to Tablig a while back. You remember you. And you are back. Mulvi Osman said, yes, you are right. I was in Tablig and I was back. I said, I think so too. This baby does not have a day, but at least it is five, five days. Baby Osman said, if all these things were done by my wife, then what did I need to kill Barno? I told him that he could make the story. Forget Barno, he is no longer in this world. But you find out if this baby is actually your wife. Osman said, how can I know? I said, you don't have to do anything. I'm looking for but it will take some time. I believe that Shamamitha was saying, this baby was the only one to whom he gave birth to another man. And now the story is making, because it is because a woman does not have a baby with a husband. But when he is married elsewhere, he has children in his house. This is the case for the boys, or only the girl has children with one wife and only the boy with another wife. It's not new. I wanted to see Shama now. I wanted to hide him and test. I can tell a woman that she's going on. I went and sat next to Shama. So I came to help you. The baby is okay? He said, why not be okay? Then he went silent and went silent. What did he mean to say? The baby that's with his mother. That's right. I said, give the baby to me for a while and go and make a cup of tea for me. I wanted to see if there was any difference in his walking. Mulvey Osman was not at home at that time. She wanted to find out how this happened. So he was interrogating the people around, asked, did anyone get into my room in my room? But he made a strong promise in his heart to know what the real mystery behind the incident was. He was naturally walking. But the incident did not really happen to this baby, which we are dismissing as impossible. Sometimes nature turns us into an impossible thing by making us impossible. Nature thus manifests their anger. People do not understand it. And when he goes to tell these other people, they do not believe in his words. It is said that these stories are Mitha and Banawat. But what may be God if you want? I know a woman who gave birth to a child whom everyone was screaming because the baby was so strange. But I still boldly raised the baby. I lay down on my mother's chest. My hand was also severely covered. Mao was crying. She said she was punished by her because she did not serve her mother in law on her death. And that is how his mother in law left the world. His baby did not live long in this world. But since then he has completely changed. A good man turned into a good man. Her husband used to look after. 
The people of the village used to help the people for free. He would go to the people and started helping them. Even though he left this village, Shama was looking after the baby properly and the baby was fine too. Sleeping in peace, I also came to my house. In the meantime, a girl came and told me, don't have Salma's daughter, his body is worse. You come quickly. I said, yes, yes. Many people come to me like this and I used to go with them to help them. Maybe the woman would have a baby, so I came to call me, but I understood who was talking because I know Salma very well. Salma has a young girl. She was famous for her beauty in the whole village. His name was probably Lieber. The girl was so sweet to see. When I entered the house, the condition of the Lieber seemed very bad. She was lying in bed and he had a smoke. I went to know what happened. Salma said he went to his uncle's house. He came home five days ago and since then he has closed himself in the room. Nothing has been eaten. Since then, the situation has been getting worse. Now it has come so well that the name is not taking the name. Whenever I saw the look of the Liba, I realized something else. I told everyone, you go out a little. Let me see a little problem. He is a young girl. Will I ask him to ask him in front of you? From here. Then I sat next to Lieber and asked, what is the problem? He said, no mum, you just save me. Go out and tell everyone, everything is fine. I said, why? What happened? He said this. I understood what the story was. I asked him where your baby was. He said, I gave him Sharma. I said, what is your relationship with Sharma? Lieber said, Sharma is my childhood girlfriend. I asked him, who is this child's father? She said, I had no legitimate relationship with this child's father. On the other hand, the factory was not being built. It was quite handsome to look. And he's been here for six months. I was mad at him. I just told this to Shama, just knowing that I was going to be a baby. A few months after the baby arrived in the stomach, I went to Mama's house. You know that my uncle does not see with the eyes. He has a daughter. Of course, it was very easy to hide these because he was a bit stupid. Then Shama told me, you come back home. Bakita, you and I will handle it together. And when I came to keep this baby near Banu, you were asleep eating hookahs. That's why you did not know that these kikar had been done. We did nothing to Bano. His body has been bad. Maybe he was eating something in the opposite direction. But we took the opportunity to ill and leave the baby there. And you were asleep. This would have happened to me before, that when I ate the hookah, I would have come to sleep. But that day, I did not understand when I fell asleep after eating hookah and when I woke up. Lieber jumped me and said, I helped my girlfriend and he is me. You just go out and tell me I have been fine. Give some medication so that I get better because what I had to get worse, it was gone. I couldn't escape the baby properly. Shama can escape the baby properly. I was shocked to hear this. What I used to say to these two foolish girls, it was their foolish evidence or their friendship was a test that rescued each other in danger. That is why Shama wanted to say why the baby is a baby that is in the canal of his canal. Because Lieber had more than his sister, I said, what has happened? I am just silent now that this innocent baby is getting a mother and your family will be honored. Otherwise, I would have said this to everyone. I went out and said, Lieber's body has been bad. You let her relax in bed for some time. He will be fine. And don't go to the question of him. Meanwhile, I've explained to Molvi Osman that no matter what this baby comes to this world, he is your child now. You have to take care of him now. Maybe Allah Ta'ala has chosen you for this test and you go to it, everything will be fine. I took the side of Osman and I did not say anything about this. But surprisingly, the condition of Molvi Osman was better than ever when this baby came. His wealth began to grow. She also goes out to take the baby in her lap. He loves the baby as his own child and Shama is also happy now and the rest of Lieber. No one knew about him that this girl did so badly Maybe his forehead was good, but he really took many big steps. May Allah guide him. Be sure to give a like to the video and to get more Islamic videos regularly. Subscribe to our Islamic channel and press the bell icon next to it. The old woman got up from there and went outside in a hurry, hoping that grandma might have kept some food for him. But there all the plates were empty. There was not a single piece of bread. The poor man drank water and came home quietly.